is a rooster, and he's got a rooster collar on. He's a Rhode Island Red. And that's as loud as he can go with his rooster collar on. You know, a lot of towns don't allow roosters within their municipalities because they're a nuisance. But when you put this rooster collar on, you actually end up with something that you can live with. Now that's a lot quieter than the hen sound after they lay an egg. You know, they start clucking. Let me see if I can get in here a little closer for you. Yeah. So, these rooster collars, if you live in, in town and you want to have a rooster, they're pretty important to have. You absolutely cannot have a rooster without neighbors complaining. He can still eat, he can still make all the other regular noises that he's supposed to make. He can breed. The only thing he can't do is he can't fully fill up his air sacs. That's what birds have, they don't have lungs, they have air sacs. Not quite like us in that regard. Now this is really cheap, you know, if you go to a veterinarian, there are some veterinarians who specialize in, in doing this as far as a surgery that can make them stop crowing, but it's the success rate is not by any means 100%. So if you have a rooster you're attached to, odds are pretty good that it's not even going to survive. And if it does, the eff efficacy of the surgery isn't as effective as this. The great thing about a rooster collar is that you can adjust the tightness around the neck and in so doing you can adjust the volume of the crow. You can you can make him quieter than he is right now or you can you can let him be a little louder. It's hard to tighten it too much because the velcro uh, collar is two inches wide around his neck so there's no point of severe uh, pressure along the neck. It's a real a real wide constriction that uh, doesn't allow any focused pressure in any one area of the neck. So that's good, you know, it, it just kind of suppresses those air sacs. They're really easy on the rooster's neck. They're real soft in areas where they're going to rub. And so it's not going to cause them any irritation or minimal amount. At first, when you put it on, the, you know, it's a foreign object. He's going to walk backwards, and he's going to be like, wow, what in the world is this? You know, I want this thing off. But then he gets used to it, like, like he is right now. And he'll do everything a rooster's supposed to do, except crow and wake up your neighbors. All right, this concludes the video. Thank you.